So I am at the gym. Sorry, I don't want to talk too loud. I forget. I have a mic finally connected. It's taken me a hot minute to figure it out. <laughs> Apparently I had the wrong cord. Leave it to me. So we are finally doing my first ever mic'd up workout on this YouTube channel. I would be so upset if I like go to edit this and the mic's not even working. I'm gonna assume it is. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So for the past few weeks, I started a new workout split. So I'm gonna take you through one of the leg days that is absolutely chef's kiss. So if you do try out this workout, let me know if you get a juicy pump after this. So before I get in to the gym, I'm gonna drink a Celsius. This video is sponsored by Celsius. Thank you Celsius for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love Celsius. Yeah, my favorite energy drink. This is the Oasis Vibe Sparkling Prickly Pear Lime Edition. So this just helps me give me the energy I need, especially on days where I don't drink coffee. Like I haven't had coffee today, so I need this. Like I feel very sluggish. So when I drink this, I just feel like it really amps up my workouts and helps me stay focused. So we're gonna do a little ASMR. Yeah. But before we go, quickly have a chit chat just because like, I don't know, my body, like I've been inconsistent for a few months because of everything going on. And I definitely feel like my body dysmorphia because of that has been really bad. Like I just, I look in the mirror and I don't, like I don't see any muscle anymore. I feel like my glutes aren't there, my upper body, just like any gains that I had were are just like gone. And I definitely, like it's definitely taken a toll on me and like how I perceive myself. And I know also like comments like, telling me I've lost weight doesn't help, and I feel like definitely contributes to the body dysmorphia. So it's been a struggle, but I'm trying to get back on track, trying to stay consistent again and find that motivation. And it can be hard. It can be so hard to find the motivation, especially when you've been inconsistent for a while. Like it starts to be like where you don't even remember that, oh crap, I'm supposed to be at the gym. Like, or I'm supposed to go hit the gym. I'm supposed to go do legs. Like when you're inconsistent for a while, you just completely forget that that's like something you have to factor into your day. And it's been that way for a while for me. And so I'm trying to like remind myself, you know, I have these goals. I gotta go to the gym, I gotta, or else I'm not gonna see them. But I also wanna be kind on myself. And I, So if anyone else is in the same boat of like, they don't have any motivation right now or they haven't been consistent, you know, don't feel too down about that because one, like your body might need this rest. Two, it's not the end of the world if you haven't been consistent. Like once you get back on track, muscle memory is a thing. So don't be too hard on yourself, but also you're not alone if you're not feeling consistent right now. Certain things that help motivate me are one, to remind myself that I do have goals and in order to see those goals, I have to be consistent. Two, scrolling through social media, of course, like I follow a lot of other gym girlies and they help motivate me to get in the gym. And like, I'll see them like staying consistent hitting their protein and like having just literal body goals and like that motivates me to be I gotta go hit legs you know it's not the best way because it, it is easy to like compare yourself and then start to like nitpick everything about you but I try and view it in a more positive way like this muscle mommy is literally smashing it in the gym I want to smash it in the gym too I want big muscles so she just motivated me to go hit the gym I try and like view it in a more positive way rather than like dang my legs don't look like hers like instead use that as fuel to like go hit legs and know that if you stay consistent you will see growth in that area or just in general not only with like physical growth but like staying consistent in the gym definitely helps mentally and i have noticed not being consistent i haven't been the best mentally so that's another thing that has is pushing me to keep going not only because like yeah i have like physical goals but also mental like i just want to feel mentally better so that is my motivation right now to get back into the gym 
that was a really long rant. I just kind of wanted to like chit chat, be honest and open about like my struggles and if anyone else is feeling the same, that you're not alone. And that even if you do take time off, whether it's for your mental health, life has just been hectic or you've had an injury, you will be able to get back in the gym, back to being consistent. The gains will return. But yeah, let's go smash this leg day. So I'm gonna start with dynamic stretching. I only do three movements, 10 to 15 each. That's usually as much of a warm up as I do. So we're gonna start with hip openers. Again, at 10 to 15 each side. a huge bug bite. It's like swelling right on my tummy. Okay, next, touch your toes and then we're going to squat. Come back up, squat, and just repeat this for 10 to 15 reps. shoes for this. I need my Reeboks. I feel like those really help. Doing hip thrust on the Jones machine. What do I want to listen to? Robot rock. You want to keep your feet 90 degree angle once you come up and then you want to come down keeping your chin tucked set it all the way down i'm limited though because of the jones machine barbell i'd bring it all the way down keeping chin tucked spine neutral i don't like arching the spine you're gonna end up with some major back pain if you do coming up to full extension and then back down. Remember to go slow. If you're rushing through the movements, you're missing out on some crazy gains. Okay, set three. We have three 45s on each side. Aiming again for as many as I can do. Honestly, with being inconsistent, like I've been struggling to go higher in weight just because I'll hit legs one week and then completely skip the next. So I'm not able to go as heavy as I once was and everything feels so heavy. Hopefully I can still do some decent reps with this weight. Don't know, we shall see. Oh my music. Rugged Robot Rock. Need some like hardcore funk. <laughs> Dumbbell RDLs. I don't really do dumbbell RDLs. I usually do barbell. 
but I don't know. Today just felt like a dumbbell day. So, I'm attempting these little gloves. I still don't think they're gonna be better, but we shall see. Oy, okay. So, I like my feet closer together. And then to make it more glute focused, knees more, more bend to the knees. And remember to hip hinge. And I usually stop right at my knees and come back up. Ooh, 50 is heavy. No. Bro, I don't like gloves. I'm trying paper towels and Okay. Paper towels are secure. Let's try this again. Please work better. It did better than the gloves, but I think I need to lighten the weight. 45. Okie dokie, artichokies. We're gonna do some squats. Normally. I, what was that? I would do hamstring curls. We don't, I don't think there's a machine at this gym that has anything like that, so I'm just gonna do some squats. I have been neglecting barbell squats, or squats in general, because of my scoliosis, so I'm trying to get better about it. Get back to squatting, up my weight, but I really can't go that heavy because of my back. Like, I don't wanna end up hurting it and then be out for more weeks. So, I'm just gonna do 10 for right now. It's a little warm up. See how I feel. I really wanna work on my depth because, because I haven't squat in a while. My depth is garbage. So, we're gonna just do a few sets since I can't do hamstring curls. Hopefully I'm still in front. Oh, I forgot to hit play. I was listening to Ragdoll. Okay, one. These are also not good shoes to squat in. Um, yeah, whoops. I like want to get low, but I also don't want my butt to hinge. Or wink, sorry. I don't want that like butt wink. But I notice when I try to go low now, that's what it does. My depth was indeed garbage, but so what to expect when you completely get rid of squats. <laughs> Whoops, I. Okay, so now we're gonna do Bulgarian split squats on the Smith machine. Boy, hopefully this is set up right. Honestly, I like these better than RDLs. I feel like I hate RDLs more than Bulgarian split squats. Again, doing as many reps as I can on each leg. Making sure to drive through my heel. Oh, that burns. No, maybe I hate this one too. Oh, this is my weaker leg. so much harder on that leg. Oh. Okay. We're gonna do three sets. Next we're gonna be doing hyper extensions, glute focused, with a kettlebell. I don't know how it's going to go. 
I usually use dumbbells or a little bar. I don't feel like this is heavy enough. struggling to feel it in your glutes, what you can do, not hunch, but kind of like round your back. When you come up, keep it round. And then kind of imagine doing like, almost like a reverse hip thrust. Okay, so last we're gonna be doing my superset with the cables to glute medius kickbacks into a side abductions. Again, as many reps as possible. Also, dang, my strength literally varies. Like each gym, this cable varies weight-wise. Like I feel like I can do so much more in my other gym. This one, bro, I can't even lift 22 pounds. What the heck? Boy. Bro, this is annoying. Coming out 35 to 45 degree angle. I've got to lower the weight for this one. And then I'm stepping over. That way my leg is in line with the cable. So this one, standing up. And then we're just gonna be Bringing the leg to our side. <sighs> and then next leg. I'm hot as crap, so. If you give this workout a try, let me know what you think. Feel free to tag me in your workouts. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.